I came to Klamath Falls uh, 30 years ago, uh, right out of college, Western Oregon State College in Monmouth, Oregon, and it was the first job that I ever applied for. I had never been to Klamath Falls, drove down, interviewed for a job, and uh, before I left town they offered me a contract, um, and I've never left. And I think the reason that I never left was uh, the sense of community that Klamath Falls affords the people that live here. It's a, community of probably 50,000 people that live in the basin of Klamath Falls. Um, a small town feel. It's kind of this wholesome community stuck just on the east side of the Cascade Mountain Range. It's a place easily that you could call home. Klamath Falls is known as the sunniest city of Oregon, over 300 days of sunshine a year. Um, as a result of that, the Air National Guard has a fighter training base here. It's one of the only fighter training bases for the particular aircraft that fly out of Klamath Falls. But because this location affords just all kinds of recreational opportunities. The Pacific Crest Trail is literally 15, 20 miles maybe from Klamath Falls. Two national parks, Crater Lake National Park, Lava Beds National Park, two national forests. Um, it's just a, geographically a really interesting area to, if you're into the uh, recreational opportunities. And, it, and if not, if you just like to travel, we're four hours from the Pacific Ocean, six hours from San Francisco, four and a half to five hours from Portland, Oregon. We're just in a really neat location. Klamath County School District geographically is the largest school district in the state of Oregon, taking over 6,000 square miles. Uh, our border ranges from just south of Bend, Oregon, stretches all the way to the California border, uh, made up of 23 schools, um, schools of various kinds of uh, composition. We have K-6 schools, traditional elementary schools. We have traditional 7-8 junior highs, but we also have some K-12 schools and uh, of course our 9-12 regular high schools. Our largest high school is Mazama High School. Uh, is about 700 students um, and Henley High School is just under that at about 650. Our smallest school is an elementary school sitting in Bly, Oregon, about 60 miles from Klamath Falls, 60 miles east. Uh, made up of about 25 elementary students. Our sports programs in our high schools are well known throughout the state. Henley High School in particular, they virtually are in the playoffs every year in every sport. Uh, the baseball team, for example, has won, I believe recently, they won their third state title. Uh, but we're right now, our boys basketball team won the conference. The girls basketball team got second place in the conference. Henley's wrestling team, along with other wrestling teams, are at the state tournament. Athletically, there aren't too many schools uh, or districts in the state at the 4A level that can rival the athletic success that is found in Klamath County Schools. Students that stay connected in the schools, or stay in schools and are successful because they're connected in the school. If you don't have that kind of robust extracurricular activity, sometimes you have an opportunity to miss, I think, a, an important part of the development of a student, not just the academic side, but this, this side about what it means to be productive, be a leader, just a, a good citizen in the community. Do you recall any of these vocabulary? Klamath words? Community supports education right. in the Remember, community. Um, recently, Klamath County School District passed a $31 million bond um, in the district. 19 million of that, of which was spent on a brand new elementary school called Henley Elementary School. A beautiful brand new facility, state of the art technology, uh, just a really well designed and well built building that's just, it's kind of this gem of the community right now. Oregon is the highest paid state in the Northwest. Washington c compares with Oregon, but compared to Idaho and Montana, uh, Colorado, Dakotas, even Arizona, our salary package is substantially more, I would say at least 15 to 25% more in some places. So our starting teachers will be starting with a bachelor's degree with no experience, just under $40,000. Um, in addition to that, um, a teacher that's married with a family, uh, our insurance package is somewhere in the area of about $1,800 a month that we apply toward an insurance plan, medical, dental, vision insurance. In addition to that, uh, the district contributes 6% of the salary to the Public Employees Retirement System, known in the state of Oregon as PERS. Um, and that money goes into a pot that sets at the state and uh, the person gets retirement age, that money grows over time. Um, 
There are a variety of opportunities that our teachers have uh, to be funded to further their educations. We do spend a lot of resources in training teachers um, in the district curriculum that would be outside of the $1,000 that we would provide to individuals. And so we do spend a lot of time and money developing uh, teachers in the district. Klamath County School District does kind of a unique thing called the Crystal Apple. And it's a, it's a ceremony that we do in the month of April. Um, students, principals, other staff members can nominate teachers and classified employees uh, to be considered for the honor of receiving a crystal apple. We do the ceremony every year in the month of April. It's about an hour and a half long ceremony and it's basically an evening filled with uh, a lot of celebration toward individuals that have given their time and oftentimes in some cases 30 years of their life to educate young people. And it's a way for us to just to honor these, uh, these individuals that have committed themselves to the development of the young people of Klamath Falls. And so it's an evening of singing in, an, in a really neat venue called the Ross Raglan Theater. Most all of the music is performed by either local educators in our district or in a lot of cases the students of our district. And it's just an opportunity for us to honor some people that have been recognized by their peers and by students in the community as really leaders uh, among their educational colleagues in the district. It's just a really neat event. It's fun to be a part of. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome Domingo Ariola. Our student achievement is uh, some of the highest in the state. Our graduation rate, for example, at one of our high schools is just shy of 100%. I don't know that there's anybody that's 100%, but Henley High School is 99%. Our average in our district, I believe, is about 78 or 79% graduation rate. State average is about 75%. So our students finish school, and I think that's not only a uh, compliment to the teachers that are teaching them, but the community as a whole. What we believe to be true is that the person that is most effective in developing student achievement is the person that's in the classroom. There's lots of research that says, I mean, you can have this curriculum or that curriculum or this building or that building, but bottom line is what makes it happen is the teacher that's in front of those students. That's the reason that we take the selection and the recruitment of our teachers so seriously. Um, we, we go uh, across a number of states trying to find the best candidates that we can find to impact the student achievement in our district. A lot of training, a lot of mentoring that goes along to helping a teacher develop into a really competent educator. And so if someone chooses and has the opportunity and chooses to make Klamath Falls their home as an educator, if they're willing to work, we will develop them into a top quality teacher. 